Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So in today's video I'm going to go through my monthly faves for the month of April. It is almost over. I just wanted to share things that I have been loving this month. When I started these videos I figured I'd show you guys things that I purchased, things that I have emptied out. I kind of just kept it like that but I do have something else in this video that I actually picked back up so I'm going to share that as well. So let's get into it. First two things that I'm loving are these two lippies this they're both from Sephora and the gloss which you can see it is pretty much gone I have to go replace it because I have like a tiny tiny bit left this is their glossed lip gloss I don't know if you guys can see that it's their gloss lip gloss they have a ton of colors you can get them in the clear version slightly darker with like a pink tint along with this lippy right here i don't know if you can see that name i think it says rogue i believe but this combination guys okay if you are a dark skinned girl this is a good combination when you first put it on it does seem a bit light but if you put on like a chestnut liner or some sort of dark liner is definitely going to give you that nice perfect nude that we need it's hard for us to find a good nude lipstick but this combination along with a nice brown liner is your best friend so the reason why it's my favorite for me is because i do like the texture of this i'm not a fan of matte but when you put this on it does go on matte and then with the liner, just kind of, you know, and then add a little bit of gloss. And it's the perfect nude shade for dark skin. As far as the price, I don't remember. I'm going to link everything for you guys below the exact color of this one. And the exact color that I have here that I have to replace. But this is a good combination. And the reason why it is on my fave is because this one is pretty much gone. And this one is like on its last leg. So... This is something that I think would be beneficial to you guys in a video that is my fave because I use it to it's pretty much done. So I hope that makes sense. Other item is going to be Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. I got this when I went to Dallas. It is a part of the Intense line. It's a smaller bottle and it was expensive. Okay. But when I tell you I love this perfume every single time I wear this perfume someone is always saying something to me it doesn't matter if they are a younger person middle age or even an older person someone is always complimenting me on this and I think it's because it gives off like a mature smell it's definitely something that draws people to me and it's always like a conversation piece like oh what are you wearing it smells really good or somebody's looking like oh she smells good they eat they may not say it to me but I'll hear them say it to the person that they're with check this out guys if you haven't because I had it for a while now and you only need a little bit because it is the intense version and girls it lasts okay it, well, it lasts on my skin for girls who feel like Jo Malone doesn't last, it could just be the combination of things that they're using that just don't work well with your chemistry. And that's okay too because you can definitely find something that works well with your body chemistry. Okay, the other item is the, I think it's called OC, Osea Body Oil. Okay, it's gone, gone. Like, I just used the last bit of this. Either. All right, so this one, it's pretty much it's gone okay I finished it yesterday <sighs> it's not cheap for a body oil okay it smells good but I also feel like there has to be something else that I can get because this is like 60 bucks okay will I replace it probably until I find like a dupe or something for it or figure out a way where I can make it myself with some sort of oils and stuff and I'm probably gonna have to mix just like natural oils together uh, but the only thing you have to be careful is that when you do get items like products like this that it's very oily and you can kind of mess up your clothes so it's a good idea to put it on directly out of the shower when you're still pretty damp that way it can seep into your system and lock in all the water moisture on your body so this is another favor of mine 
I got a little, little tiny, tiny bit left, y'all. <laughs> and this little bit, I'm gonna open it up and pour it on my skin. So the OC, I need to get the pronouncing of this. Um, their, their, their body oil. And I believe they only have one type of body oil. So when you go into the store, I'll link it below for you guys. But if you go into a store, just ask for this oil here. So that's the fourth piece, but it's technically third on my list because I put the lippies together. The fourth item that is my fave for this month and probably going to be my fave forever until I figure out how to make my own. I'm just saying because this stuff is expensive. Is the Way Hair and Body Scrub. All right. This is a new jar. I finished two jars in one month. Okay. I have a little tiny bit of the, the other job. The reason why I am going through this so fast is because I started to exfoliate every other day. And the reason why I like to use this is because it doesn't seem as harsh on my skin as opposed to another scrub that is probably like a full dead skin scrub. Since you can use this on your hair, to me, it's more delicate on the skin because you can use it on your hair. It smells really good. The texture, Woo. The texture is like, oh, I did start using this one. Yeah, I did. Um, the texture is like, I don't know. I can't really, it's just soft. Oh, it smells so good. When you're using this, just keep in mind that it is kind of oily. So your bathtub or your shower will have like a little bit of oil. So you want to make sure you're cleaning your showers out after every use. <laughs> um, because the oil will sit on your on your tub and then you know if someone gets in after they may slip but this is the body the scalp and body scrub it's melrose place that's what it's called i love it this is a fave i'm probably this is 38 bucks if i'm not mistaken it's not the biggest jar but you don't need a lot i think i just i am heavy-handed when i'm grabbing it because i'm trying to get my knees and my elbows and just everywhere else on my body but if you use like a loofah you would be okay with not using as much product as if you were using your hand to like kind of maneuver it on your body and to grab it up and possibly get like one of those little spoons that you use for the bathroom and be done. But this is the fourth item that is my fave for April. If you have a good shower routine or you just like to pamper yourself, I'm not saying you have to spend a ton of money on stuff, but I will say it starts with your environment in your bathroom. So for me, I like my bathroom to kind of look like a spa environment. So I, I get things that give me that spa feel, if that makes sense. So like woodsy things, like bamboo, like greenery, things like that, and scrubs, girls. <laughs> so that's the fourth thing. And the last item, it's not a pro product. Is it considered a product? No. Okay, I've read this book maybe twice, all right? And the reason why it's on the list is because I picked it back up. In this particular book, there is a section in here and it tells you when you're done with the book to go back to a certain section to read it over and over and over again. Like as your daily routine. It took a long time for me to read the book the first time because I was taking so many notes with the book because there's so much in here. And I'll give you an example. I have a card right here that has some writing on it. And the first thing I have written is decide what kind of life you want, then say no to anything else that doesn't fit it. That right there, when I tell you, when I read that over and over, it solidifies how I am in, with people, how I am with a job, how I am when I shop. Um, that is one thing that I like to tell my clients. Like, Once we decide on your personal style and you go out shopping, you're not, gonna, you're not even gonna look at the stuff that doesn't fit your style anymore. If it's a newer style, you may try it out, but something that is completely not it, you won't even look at it. So, that's one of the things that I have here. And then I also have, if you can see it, you can do it, right? So I picked the book back up as a fave this month because I wanted to just get back into just reading parts of the book again, just different chapters of the book because it really is a good book. Now I got this version because I actually like the aesthetic of the book. 
it gives me seriousness <laughs> um, and this book is by Napoleon Hill if I didn't say it so the book is called think and grow rich so that is it guys those are five things that are on my favorite list for the month of April and I hope you guys check out some of the pieces especially the scalp and body scrub from Quay and I would say the Joe Malone for sure y'all can pass on the oil because it's expensive <laughs> the lippy is something that I would recommend you guys trying out if you like nude lips I mean you don't want to buy a lipstick and this book check out the book it's not a book that you would read fully through you want to take notes while you're actually reading the book that's it guys those are my top five faves for the month of april i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you are liking the video guys if i had it said it earlier and make sure you are subscribing to the channel guys so if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and i'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys